All right, let's give it a minute or two. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> good morning, everybody, or afternoon, evening, wherever you're at in the world. Hope everyone's having a fantastic week. I thought I would do a, a little bit of an overview in the impulse scanner at a different time, really, really early in the morning while the, the New York session is getting ready to open. <clears throat> and uh, I kind of wanted to cho show you, uh, as well as current members, what, what the markets are looking like, okay? So obviously, this is the impulse scanner. The first step, uh, let me give a quick background. I've been uh, trading with this trading team for six and a half years. We've been a team for eight years. This platform has been available for 10. That should tell you enough, okay? Um, where other teams and companies come and go, <clears throat> we are still standing. So uh, this is the impulse scanner. So I have not looked at any charts today. I've not looked at the markets. I do have a Telegram chat um, in my uh, as an added bonus when you join us just to provide even additional resources and support. Um, but I wanted to uh, kind of go at this raw where I haven't seen anything, et cetera, okay? So the first thing I want to do is, yep, I want to go to Forex Factor to see what my news is. Now, this part I already know, okay? So there is a lot of news today, <clears throat> okay? So we have to be careful. So these are my time zones. You can adjust the time so that it's your time zone. So we've just been hit with, ADP non-farm employment change, so that is always heavy, heavy news. We have more U.S. news at uh, 8.45 and 9 o'clock. So just when the New York session is opening, there's a lot of news. And then early in the afternoon, and for those on a different time zone, probably about five hours from now, we have FOMC. So this is always, always very newsy and makes the markets jump, okay? So you have to be aware when you log in and you're looking at charts before you even look at a potential trade, you've got to see what is the news for the day, okay? <clears throat> and sometimes you'll be able to see in the impulse scanner where the news hit. So that is the first step. You go right here, all right? So this is the impulse scanner. This is the tool and resource that a lot of folks are absolutely loving it. We teach two specific strategies. The first strategy is a four-step scalping strategy, which I'm going to uh, go over today. And the second strategy is a fair value gap. It's a more of a smart money concepts intraday trading. All right. And just for those that are members of the team, uh, there is an economic calendar here as well. This is fairly new in the last few weeks. And as you can see, there's a lot of news. Uh, red folder. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's like, please look out for this. Okay, for Canada. So anyway, you, you have an economic calendar here as well. Uh, you have to know what the news is for the day. All right, so this is the panel. All right, and here are the time frames. So for the scalping strategy, we focus on the one minute and the five minute. All right, and 15, 30 hour, four hour daily. So I'm just going to kind of see what's shaken in the markets prior to New York opening. And as New York opens, so step number one is all the Forex pairs are here on the left hand side. You have a trend and a strength, all right? So the first step in a potential uh, scalping strategy for the impulse is all these time frames need to be aligned in one direction, one minute to one hour, all right? And you literally, I'm going to uh, take the stars off these, you can literally go through this in two minutes. Let's see, are my stars coming up? Okay, they are, all right. There. Oh, one more. There we go. And what you do is, I personally alphabetize them, okay? A U D C E G H U, etc. And then you can quickly go through this panel, and I'm going to start on the five minute, and see what potential opportunities are there, all right? Now, this strength here is important, okay? 
Um, we generally like the strength because it's a stronger move in one direction, okay? But that doesn't mean you don't have setups when the strength's at 11, okay? So I'm going to go through these really quick and see... Oh, I forgot one step. Macro trend arrow off. Thank you for whoever said that and sent me a message, okay? Macro trend arrow on, okay? So when you log in, that's what you got to show, all right? And I'm going to go through these pairs really quickly, and I'm going to, you know, and I'm looking for this. They're all aligned, all right? That one's aligned. I'm going to start, okay? And then I'll look at this one, and I'm not going to start. And this one, nope. 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 Yep. I'm going to star it. Let's go. See if I can get my mouse to cooperate. Uh, yes. One minute to one hour. Star. Ewer can. Star. Nope. Only if my computer cooperates with me. E-U-R-C-A, Jeff. Okay, so... Looks like all the EURs, <laughs> uh, no, EURJPY, yep, EURNZV, yep, EUR, nope, GBP, nope, and usually one, you know, for example, GBP, you know, if one pair is going to have all the time frames aligned, in most cases, all the time frames are going to be aligned. Okay, and as you can see, all none of the GB pairs are really aligned. Part of that is time of day. Part of that is trend down, strength up, like for our GU. Uh, NZD CAD, as you can see, trend down, strength up. NZD CH Chef, JPY, USD, UCAD, UCHEF. And UJ, okay? So, we've identified six or seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, all right? So then, let's go here. AUD, JPY. Okay. So, step one of the process is all time frames are aligned one minute to one hour. It's nice to have the four hour of the daily. Step two is you're looking for this macro arrow to appear, okay? When you have a macro arrow appear on the five minute, you have ten hours to potentially get the next couple steps, all right? And at the bottom of the impulse scanner, you can see the times. So we're about five hours in. All right, probably got about five hours to go. Step three is, because it's, you know, and, and honestly it's consolidating a little bit, but it's, it's slowly trending up, you're looking for four blue candles with the blue arrows trending, uh, I'm sorry, red, four red candles with the arrows trending down, okay? This could be possible. This candle here, especially with that wick, probably is news. Remember I said <clears throat> there was news around 7.15? Generally, like if it's a AUD, USD, sometimes it does affect other pairs as well, except, but mostly the specific pairs that we're talking about. So this could be a newsy thing or not. So on this one, step three is you have the time frames aligned, you have the macro, you're looking for four red arrows. Now, this could be the third red arrow, okay? Now, people sometimes just look for the four red arrows and not the, uh, not the four red candles and can get into a move. Now, this would have worked out. I prefer is I'm really tight on my rolls, okay? I want four red candles with four red arrows. And then step four is the first blue candle with the arrow, back with trend, trend up, macro trend up, that's when you get in, okay? So this is one that I would be watching, all right? C-A-D-J-P-Y, uh, let's see, there's the macro, and we're at about seven hours. Let me see if there was a move earlier. This was close. You know, there's three red candles and one here. And then the first blue probably would have survived. Not sure I'm really liking that. Let's go to EURAUD. Okay, there's the macro. All right. 
Very strong move to the upside. You are looking for four red candles, okay? And then the first blue you would get in. Eeyore Cad. Let's see. Now this would have been nice if, this could have been nice. Actually, it would, it would have lost. See, this is why you have to wait for the four red arrows. See, some people, you know, the one thing with trading is people need to not skip steps and, you know, trade how they want to trade because they're stubborn, okay? That's, that, it just happens, okay? People like to do that, and this is why you don't. So, for example, some folks would probably, oh, let me just get in on this first red, boom. But there's no red arrow. Here are the four reds. Maybe I'll get on the first blue here. Even though these weren't red candles, these are four red candlesticks going down. I didn't get the arrows, so I'm going to get on the first blue. Okay, well... Consolidate, consolidate. You might have gone up a little. And then what happened? So this would have hit stop loss. This is why you have to follow the rules. Now, here's one that I bet a couple people are in. So here is, you've got the macro. You've got the trend up. Here are your four red arrows. Okay? Right? This one, you know, this, you know, you've got four out of five. This one's got the red arrow. This is one I probably would have taken. Okay? If I would have seen it. All right? So you want to get in on the first blue, right? doesn't matter that these candles up, down, up, down. You've got your four red. you got five red. you got a couple. First blue candle. Boom. Look at that. Okay? And there's your move, and it's continuing to go to the upside. So people want to say, okay, well, how do I do my stop loss? I'm going to show you how to do the stop loss. Whoops. I'm always picking that one when I want this one. Okay? So first blue arrow is this one. These are the uh, Fibonacci's, but it's kind of a Bollinger Band. It's kind of a secret sauce. We don't know exactly what it is, but obviously that's what it looks like. So our stop loss is from one Bollinger to the other. Ah, anybody who's watched my videos, you know, I really stink at this part. <laughs> okay. And then... This is where you'd move your stop loss, okay, at the end of the first candle, down here. And as you can see, it's below the Bollinger Bands, and even though it kind of re-dipped a little bit, not even close, and then it shoots up, okay? All right, let me see if there's anything else that I'm looking at. I'm looking at this for my team. I'm looking at this for folks that might be interested in joining us. Uh, I want to see... Do, 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 do. So let me see on smart money for my smart money folks. We focus on three strategies. We focus on the scalping that I've shown you. We focus on fair value gap, which is an intraday trading. And then we focus on smart money. That's kind of where we made our name. Good morning, Doug. Good morning. Good morning, Clint. Hope everybody's well. Uh, those are the three strategies we focus on. <clears throat> and... Um, so we obviously made our name with Smart Money. Uh, we've been doing this eight years. So uh, I try to help folks with all three of the strategies. But the impulse scalping has really, really helped a lot of people. And the reason we went to it is because, you know, folks' journey is, um, you know, folks' journey sometimes takes longer uh, to master the smart money, right? Some people can pick it up in a month or two. Some people take six months. Some people take nine months. Some people after a year can't seem to be consistent at it. So we kind of, um, we kind of um, um, came up with the Impulse Scanner because we were obviously members of the Academy and like, wow, this is amazing. This is an amazing piece of software. So that's why we are doing this. It helps a lot of folks with the scalping and then people can uh, go into the fair value gap one and of, of course, smart money. So that if they're focusing on smart money, as their journey moves along, they're mastering this scanner, they're mastering the scalping, and then um, they kind of move on to smart money. Okay, now I'm gotten it. Now I'm having success. Now I'm building confidence, okay? There's only two ways that you fail, okay? There's only two ways that you fail. One is if you quit. And two is if you don't follow what we lay out, okay? Because once we, once we get you on board here, we're going to plug you into a uh, one of our leaders as a millionaire mindset getting started webinar and um, 
We're going to plug you into mindset, setting goals, et cetera, before you even touch a strategy, right? And we recommend this for people who have experience in trading, people who don't have experience in trading, okay? And because too many folks come in, okay, I know how to trade, I got this, I got this, and they end up failing because they're not following what we lay out to follow, okay? So trust me, we have an amazing community that will absolutely enhance your trading journey and we're having, you know, the question you have to ask yourself is, do you think you can do this scalping strategy? Uh, it's amazing, okay? Uh, there is a promotion, a rebate that expires on Monday if you're interested, all right? And just see me privately and I'll, I'll give you all the details. So let me, um, I'm looking at a little bit more smart money here. I just kind of want to see a couple things because I know smart money folks are, this I bet was news right here. Uh, CAD, JPY, and the JPY pairs are going to kind of be slow now. Um, let me see. I want to see something with major strength. Uh, UR is up and down. So this would be interesting with the, uh, the macro. <clears throat> and here's the challenge that you're running into, okay? So this is a EUR USD pair, and we have news at my time, 8.30, which is 30 minutes. Okay, so this is one you might want to be careful about. First of all, all the time frames aren't aligned, but the macro is there. You're looking for four blue arrows with the candlesticks, and they could be forming. That's very possible. But as you can see over here, your trend is still trending down, and your strength is going up. So this is probably one I would kind of stay away from as far as the scalping strategy. Okay. And I'm just kind of looking to see any particular smart money. There's definitely some news that hit um, yesterday. Let's see. Yeah, yesterday. Let me see. Let me go to uh, the scanner obviously works on uh, metals. And let's go to gold. I love trading gold. Love it. So this might be something worth watching. Here's your macro. All the time frames aren't aligned. I think you need to see how this plays out after the New York opening. Um, that's, and this is on the one hour, obviously. So let me go down to five. Let me go down to five. Okay. Yes. So I would look for an absolute opportunity. <clears throat> All my time frames aren't aligned here yet. But wait, let's see what happens with New York opening. Here's your macro. You're looking for four red back down. First blue. This is a strong trend. Even though, let's go 15 minute. And the reason I'm going to the 15 minute is because it, this is a trend down, the 30 minute and the one hour. And I would say these are about to change because it looks, you know, fairly decent strength. So I, I would keep an eye on gold. The scanner also trades indices. All time frames down. This is the franc. Franc. Man, I got to go to France. I've never been to France. Uh, all time frames aligned. Macro, you're waiting for four blues. Boom. Okay? Potential opportunity there. US 30, we always recommend trading on uh, Forex pairs first, no matter what strategy, because indices like US 30 move really, really fast. Let me go to the five minute here. I don't see a macro. US 30, I would stay away from. As you can see, trend down, strength up. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. So I would just kind of wait on how New York opens. All right. The scanner works on stocks. You can see the stocks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? Alibaba. Nope. The five minutes a little bit off. Here's your macro, four blue, first red get in. That's, but it's trending up. So maybe I would wait on that a little bit. Let me look at Amazon. I always like looking at Amazon. Whoa, okay. So this is, could be from news. <clears throat> this is possible. Obviously news does affect stocks as well. Uh, there's your macro, uh, but, that, but it's trending up. So that'll be interesting. If you get four red arrows here, you might want to look for a blue. But anyway, I digress. So. That is the impulse scanner overview, okay? Uh, it's pretty simple. So let me review really quickly four steps, all right? Step one, time frames align, one minute to one hour. Step two, macro. Step three 
is for, in this case, four red arrows with the candles back down because as the markets move, let me see if I can find that so I can show you on a calendar. Hold on, give me a second here. I need something with really strong trend and I will show you. Hold on a second. Uh, probably not GVNZD. I mean, a little bit here. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> um, right, so the markets move, right? Let's say this is kind of trending down, right? There's always retests. This is a small retest. This is a small retest. This is a small retest and then trends alert. That's how the markets move. So a part of this strategy, right, is you're waiting for the retest. So in this case, GBP, NZD, all time frames aren't aligned, but if they were, you'd be looking for four blues, first red to get in. I mean, that's it, okay? What I have found, and I've been with this team six and a half years, I will get daily messages, lots of them. I used to always get them for smart money, but now I'm really getting them. Uh, somebody had a nice move on Bitcoin yesterday. Good morning, Curtis. Robert, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Victor, nice to see you. Lee, good to see you. So, uh, so I, I, I'm getting a lot of success stories. So, for people that are new, experienced, started struggling with uh, smart money, then this might be something that can get you over the hump. And while you're doing this, it kind of helps you learn about how the markets move, right? Even the scalping strategy teaches you how the markets move, okay? Uh, 15 minute align, but the macro is there. Uh, NCD, JPY, let me see. Boom, 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 boom. I do not see any news there. That would be something I would monitor to see how this plays out a little bit. Uh, let me see the one minute. Okay, one minute, eh, you know. Let me go, NCD, USD is fairly strong trend here. Yeah, so this is how the market moves, right? So let's just say there's a macro, everything's aligned. Here, there's always retest. Retest, up. Retest, up. Retrace, if you want to call it that. Here, up. Another one, up. Then it consolidates. Then another one, up. Now it's consolidating again. So this would be interesting because this trend could be trending, starting to trend the other direction. See, look at these time frames, okay? So even if you're doing smart money, and I know some people in our community that do, hi Dwight, hi Dwight, good to see you. Uh, there are people in our community that are doing the smart money but using the impulse scanner to guide you, okay? And it's just an amazing piece of, it's just an amazing piece of software, okay? So let me see, let me see some metals. Uh, as I said in a few minutes ago, I love trading gold. I mean, I just love it, okay? Uh, but, you know, trend up, strength down, one minute, I don't see a macro. I don't see a macro anywhere. So I would definitely stay away from gold. Um, oh, there's a macro on the five minute. Strong trend. You know, these time frames aren't quite aligned. Okay. But I think if I was a guessing man, <coughs> and you don't guess in trading, uh, and here's, here's kind of a base of retest right here. So this is a retest. Uh, this might be something I would watch a little bit later in the next hour or so, uh, just to kind of see if these time frames align, okay? Let's see, copper. I do not trade copper. Uh, no macro on the five. There is a macro on the one. Almost all the time frames are aligned. Four blue, but I need those arrows. See, this? I need, there's two. I need those arrows. So, and again, now as we get closer to, you know, with New York opening and stuff, you're going to see a lot more movement, okay? <clears throat> and by the way, it's a misnomer. I get these, this question almost every day. Uh, is there moves, you know, five hours from when New York opens or London opens or the Asian session opens? Uh, with a scouting strategy? Uh, yes, okay? Volume is less when it's about to change over. But there are moves all day, every day, okay? And for those asking the question, hey, uh, is there a way to get an alert when we know the macro is painted? Well, there actually is, but you have to reach me, okay? And I'll show you how to do that. They are actually working on, they've been working on it for a while, Programmer's Challenge is they are working on uh, an alert system to alert you when a macro paints. I actually talked to the creator a couple days ago and he said, the challenge is it would be hundreds, 
hundreds of alerts. So they're kind of trying to streamline the process. But we have a workaround in our community, right? Because some, obviously some people work full, you know, two full-time jobs, have kids, etc. But it's pretty easy. You just pop in. There is an alert. You can set some alerts here when things are crossing, uh, Bollinger Bands, etc. So there is a way to set some alerts in here. Here's the alerts right here, okay? But as far as a specific macro, we have a workaround, and you have to reach me if you're a customer, and I'll kind of direct you on where that's at. So, um, and let me see if there's anything else here. Do, 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 do. I, I love trading indices. I just not seen a lot. I have tr uh, traded German 40 before. Let me see. SP 500. Let's see there. Okay. Okay. So there is no. Here's the macro. And oh man, we missed it. All right. Can anybody who's watching see? where we missed the SP500 move. Anybody watching? Give me a comment. I bet some, some of my teammates picked this up. So where is this move here? Let me know in the chat if you're watching. If not, I'm going to tell you in about 30 seconds, okay? This is where you need the Jeopardy theme, right? Da, na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Okay, I know there's a delay on Facebook because I'm watching on the phone to see if anybody comments. Okay, so your macro's here, okay? Now, as you can see over here, it is still trending up, okay? So your macro appeared, so you're looking for four red arrows with the candlesticks, and look at this. Look at this. So that's step two step three is the first blue one wow okay and of course on here just i'm going to draw this for you whoops man i'm terrible with trend lines my god jeff be better okay Oh, my goodness. All right, let me try this again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. There we go. That is the width of the Bollinger Bands, which is strong, which is, you know, not... Okay. That's where your stop loss would have gone. And so people are like, well, could I have gotten stopped out here? Could I have gotten stopped out here? I mean, you know, you still have to manage your trade, okay? But look at this move. And it's still going up. So, you know, depending on your patience, right, depending on your mindset, if you would have gotten in here, you could have gotten up to here and closed out. There's your scalp, okay? If you withstood this, remember, one-minute candles, okay? And if you would have stayed in, maybe you didn't move your stop loss, much bigger move, right? This is all about patience and emotions, right? The number one thing people struggle with is, and this is why we tell people to do the millionaire mindset, okay? It's important, right? And I know some people skip it. I know it, <laughs> but it's important. It's 90 minutes, so if you join our team, you need to watch it. It's very good. It's Jason, one of our leaders. And it's about setting goals and mindset. And we also have you read Trading in the Zone. These are things that are important. Too easily, people just want to go to, um, you know, the strategy. Let me, let me get on the charts. Let me go to the charts. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying is you, you have to have good mindset, good emotions, all that good stuff, okay, to be a successful trader, all right? Um so this would have been a potentially very large move, okay? So this would be, let me look at the time, 7, 20. You could still be in this trade one hour later. One hour later. If you were, you know, trusted the process, right, and didn't, and again, if you just would have taken this move, you would have gotten a few pips. But if you withstood this one and, and didn't move your stop loss, what, 10 minutes into it, much bigger move, 
okay and it would never have gotten near your stop loss okay it's just nas 100 it's about 812 indices in about 18 minutes are going to go wacky so let's see if i stay on with you guys or not maybe not uh let's see nas 100. so this would be a nice one for red for red um ba -da -da -bum -bum. Don't see the four red with the red arrows. But retest, retest, retest. Let's go. Um, so SP500. Yeah, that was a move and it's still happening. Okay. Um, now, is there an opportunity? Somebody asked me, is there an opportunity that you can get more than one scalp in in a, in a move? Yeah, you can. Of course you can. Okay. Um, so let's just say you get out on this move. And then maybe, you know, let's just say these four are all red with the red arrows. You could have gotten on this one. So you could have rimmed them both up. So there's definitely, you know, more than one um, scalp sometimes in a particular trade. Okay? All right, I'm going to take one more look at the Forex again. Bum, 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 bum. And this is EUR/USD. So this macro, that's a five minute. None in the one minute. Let's go back to the five. Time frames aren't all lined. Let's go EURJPY. Let me look at this on smart money. When I go to the higher time frames, folks, I'm talking smart money. News. Oh, my goodness. Okay. More news. I don't even have to look at the calendar. Um, yeah, this is a tricky one. As far as, uh, I, you know, I would definitely follow the scanner. This is, is slowly kind of moving to the upside. So that's what it appears. It could be filling in this gap from the news for sure. Okay. Let's see what else I got. EURGBP. Time frames not all aligned. Uh, let's see if there's a macro on the five. There is a macro on the five. Retest, but not with the uh, not with the red arrows. Okay, so that's one that you would stay at, right? You want everything aligned, guys. Okay, you want everything aligned, and, and people get stuck in their own head about deviating from the strategy. You cannot deviate from the strategy. Okay, if you deviate, you're asking for losses, right? Every strategy has losses. You will lose trades in any strategy. This is why mindset's so important. Okay, and emotions. And, a pr and proper risk management, okay? It, so, but when you start to deviate outside of, you know, the road, okay? The road. Here's a road. When you start deviating to the right, to the left, and going down frontage road, oh, let me add this, oh, I can cheat this, it's still going to go up, that's where you get into trouble, okay? That's where you get into trouble. Your trading plan, when we say, what's your trading plan? you got to have a trading plan. Okay, what's your trading plan? And sometimes people can't tell me. Okay, you gotta have a trading plan. All right. Um, let's see. GBPAUD, very strong strength. All the time frames aren't aligned, but there is a macro. Ooh, this this would be you know. And again, I'm, I, you gotta practice what you preach, right? There's not four blues, but definitely close. Like if this one was a blue. Right, and not a red arrow. You would have gotten on the first red down. And would have given you enough room and you would have gone down. But again, all time frames are not aligned. You gotta stick to the rules of the strategy. That's correct, Clint. You cannot deviate. And it's it's easy to deviate. It is. And as a young trader, I used to do that. Okay, I did that. All right. When when you become a successful trader, that does not mean you have not failed. I have failed a thousand times. Right? It's like Michael Jordan, always that quote says, um, you know, I have failed a thousand times. You just have to keep, I can't remember the exact quote about hitting game-winning shots, right? We all know about the game-winning shots that he hit, but he had to miss game-winning shots to learn the path of what it takes to actually hit the game-winning shot. So it's the same thing in trading. When I was a young trader. I made all the mistakes that potentially you are making in whatever you're trading, whatever strategy, etc. Okay? Um, 
So I've done it. I made every mistake that you can make. Okay? Whoa. Now, NCD chefs are just, you know, really wacky. Okay? If anybody trades these, let me know. I, You know, the, the it's just look at the Bollinger Bands on these things. My God. And this is the five minute. Let me look at uh, Smart Money here. All right, much cleaner. Okay? Let me go to the one hour. Macro. 15 minute worries me. Got a macro here. Trend and strength both up in the upper direction. This would be something I would keep an eye on. Okay? Because it, it's retesting down. I mean, this might be a retest and then head back down. Okay? Something to look at. Something to look at. Uh, let me see what else we got. Let me go to, let me go to crypto. I haven't really looked at it now. I heard, I heard one of my teammates... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, you don't know what this is, news, market manipulation, whatever the case may be. Somebody told me that there was an opportunity on Bitcoin. Well, clearly, there was. Okay? And, ooh. So, this is interesting. All right? So, all, everything's aligned for down. Okay? Now, this is... This is oh this is on the one hour. Let me let me go down to five. Okay, so there's no macro here. So this was interesting. Somebody told me about this particular move, and look at those candlesticks. That's news. You have a macro on the one hour, <clears throat> which means you need four blue. Close, close, but obviously a strong trend down, and uh, you know this is Bitcoin. Okay, look at this sixty. Oh, it dumped. So this is the one hour, it, uh, and Bitcoin is in dump mode, right? We're all talking about all these highs. Bitcoin's getting 100,000. It might. I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm just providing education, not necessarily financial advice. Um, but, boy, some, somebody's not happy today unless they are on the sell. But, again, we trade it. We don't buy and sell it, okay? So down to 57. But, anyway, uh, something happened here. And that's what caused the spike. So let me see. Uh, my buddy Jason always said, I always say this word wrong. I say Ethereum instead of Ethereum. Okay, so this is the one hour. There's a macro. Man, these are four blues. Let me go down time frame. Let me see. No macro. I would stay out of it. Um, let me go to indices. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to hang with you guys until the market opens. That's what I'm trying to do here. Let me see. I might not make it. Um, got teammates waiting on calls here. Okay, so let's see. What is this? EURUSD. Okay, I think we covered this. Macro. Uh, but all the time frames aren't aligned. But it's a pretty decent trend up. Okay? So I would keep an eye on this. So for those that are popping in late... Let me go over the four steps of the scalping strategy with this amazing piece of software, okay? Step one, let me find one for those who are just kind of joining us. Let me find one that uh, all time frames are aligned. Uh, okay, right here, AUD, odd chef, all time frames aligned. This is step one. One minute to one hour, okay? Five minute, you'd love to have the four hour, but not, you know, it's not, you know, it's, it's objective on that one. I like one hour, one minute to one hour on the one minute or five minute. This is a scalping strategy. So this is these trades are in the five minute and one minute. Step two is you're looking for a macro arrow, and I don't think we have one, okay? So we do not have one, so that would not qualify. So let me uh, see if I find something with a macro. Okay, so all these time frames aren't aligned, but this might change here. But you have a macro. That's step two, all right? Step three Staying on, Clint. Awesome, brother. Awesome. Step three is you're looking for four red arrows with the candlesticks. I do not see them yet. Okay? So that would be something to monitor. Remember, five-minute chart. And then step four is you would enter the trade on the first candle with the arrow back in direction of trend. So four red candles with the red arrows and then one blue going back in. Okay? 
I'm going to see what I'm going to take a look at while I wait to see what the markets are doing, how they open here. I'm really going to go to indices because I want to show folks how indices move or they should move <laughs> uh, when the markets open here. So EUR, USD, no time frames. Oh, let me go GPP. That strength is amazing. All time frames are not aligned. Here's your macro. You're looking for four blue. This is close. This is close. Okay, close. And then the first red, which would have been here. Then you would have gotten down. Okay. Um, let's see. So a lot of the strength and trends are reversing, you know, are just going in different directions here. The markets are getting ready to open. So uh, but -da -ba -ba, I'm going to go to indices. And I want to go right here. All right. So I, I've done a lot of US 30 trading. I think one of our leaders does a lot of US 30 trading. So, you know, let's see how this market moves when it first opens. I'm going to stay on with you for a few more minutes and let's see how the market moves. So let me tell you, you know, a little bit in, in a minute or two, and I hope I'm not boring you. <laughs> so when I started six and a half years ago, as I said earlier, I made every mistake possible. I was learning smart money. Okay, so I learned smart money. And my journey was probably about six months before I got consistent, all right? And I was in a trade on US 30, all right? Now, we're not allowed to talk about, our platform doesn't allow us to talk about how much money I made, all that kind of stuff. But let's just say it was a, it was a significant winning trade for me, okay? And then I took a, a, a trade again in US 30 because I woke up overnight and I'm like, whoa, okay? And I had my stop loss on, but I did. I was on my phone, and I didn't move it. So, and I woke up. I didn't get stopped out. It went in the right direction all night for hours and hours. So, needless to say, I was a happy camper. This is early in my trading journey. Okay. And so then I had another trade in US 30. All right. And um, when I took that trade, I was also in small profit. And then it started to reverse. And I'm like, oh, that's going back up. Oh, that's going back up. And I didn't have my stop loss on, okay? I didn't have the stop loss on, all right? And, oh, it's going to reverse. Oh, it's going to reverse. Oh, it's going to reverse. Several hours later, when I wouldn't put a stop loss on and I was stubborn, and I'm like, oh, man, I won this last US 30 trade. This is absolutely going to go in my direction. So I'm just going to let it ride. If it goes down, okay, there's, you know... I won the previous trade. I've got enough room. So all good. Well, guess what? I blew the account. Okay? So everyone has done it. Every successful trader has blown accounts. Here's another trade I, I'm going to tell you about. I was at home. I was in a Bitcoin trade. And I had my stop loss. And it was a trade that was in profit. And then I was going to move my stop loss. All right? Then I moved my... So I took my stop loss off. And then I was in my kitchen, and then I got distracted, and I didn't get my stop loss back on. And in a few minutes, you could literally hear on my phone, boom, like literally the noise, some sort of news hit on crypto and Bitcoin, boom, blew my account, okay? So when people tell me, oh, I don't how to use a stop loss, okay, I chuckle. I have to chuckle, okay? Stop loss. Proper risk management. Don't get greedy. Okay? You cannot be a successful trader without proper mindset. Okay? Proper strategy. Proper risk management. You don't over trade. Right? Now, this strategy for scalping, you can obviously take more trades in a week. But we have another strategy that's a fair value gap. It's an intraday trading using this scanner. And we have smart money that... You know, if you have two or three good trades for the week, that's it. Right? People overtrade. There's no reason to overtrade. Right? And this is even, even if you win multiple trades in a row, guys. Right? You set a goal. What is your weekly goal? Okay? What do you want to accomplish? This is why you have to have a trading plan. And you need to walk away. I can't tell you again. I've helped hundreds, probably thousands of folks now over six and a half years. I've answered, I've helped a lot of people that are members of our team, and I've helped a lot of people that haven't been members of our team, but they're asking me trading questions. And you'd be surprised at some of the some of the answers. Right? I had one person 
who I blown every account I've ever had, Jeff, and he wasn't a member of our team. And I said, well, you have to ask yourself. You have to ask yourself a couple questions. Over trading? How many trades are you taking? What's your lot size? Right? All those questions, because you, you, if you don't have a trading plan and you're just like taking a signal, okay, and that's great because you can have successful trades. But at some point, if you've hit your goal, whatever your goal is, walk away, enjoy your time with your family, go get a cup of joe, etc. All right? Because some folks get in their head, oh, I, I won eight trades in a row. I can win nine. Okay? And you may. Or you may lose. And then if you lose one, okay, I got to take another trade because I got to make up for the one that I just lost. And then you lose it again. And that's where your mindset gets away from you. Okay? So I implore you, whatever you do in trading, proper risk management, proper mindset, don't over trade. Okay? All right, so the indices are about to get moving here, which should be, kind of be fun to see it on a one minute. So for those that are interested in joining us, we have, before these markets open, we have an amazing Discord community. We have a team training website. You get added to my personal Telegram chat. We've been a team going on eight years. So if I sponsor you in on our team, I'm telling you it's going to be, I'm telling you, uh, you're going to have the support that you need. And there is a promotion going on where you can save some coin. It's a month-to-month -month membership. Just reach me after this for details. Okay, so. The markets, as you can see, this is US 30. This is the one minute. This is getting ready to move. And this is for people that maybe are watching that have no idea what trading is, okay? So this is where the indices get going. It's 8.30 Central, my time. And you're right, Doug. You're right. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. That's right. That's what it was. Okay. <clears throat> and Clint, do not deviate. You're right. You're right. And I appreciate you staying on. Hello, Curtis, I think I saw Victor on there, Lee, appreciate you. And so we're about to turn to 8.30. Let's just kind of see what's happening. So this is why, and remember, I won't be on until 8.45, but there's going to be news, 8.45 U.S. news, okay? So that's kind of why I'm focused on here. So the markets are opening. So let me let me go down to SP500. Let me just take a peek here. Uh, okay. The one minute, now the markets are opening, so this is where the one minute can be a little wacky, okay? Um, so it'll be interesting to see what, what the, the markets do, because with news coming in 15 minutes, right, it could be it could be mellow and then move at 8 to 45 my time. Uh, but as you can see, this is a one minute candle, and it, now, don't be surprised. Okay, this is US 30. I know US 30 like I know the back of my hand. Okay, this could be shooting up and then all of a sudden freaking drop like a rock. Okay, and this is where people who are not good traders gamble. There's no reason to gamble. You have to have a proper strategy, proper risk management, follow the rules and get in. Now see, see how that, the next candle, now coming back down, the arrow painted, and now we move to the next candle. All right, and look at that wick, okay? And this is, and see, look at that. See, that's that's the beauty. Look at US 30 on that one minute, all right? Let me take a look at the five, all right? And yeah, definitely making a move. Let's see if that continues. We're going to watch the one minute. See, now then it reverses. So this is the emotions that can go into trading when people are like, okay, I got to move this I got to move this I got to move it. Oh, my God, I got to move it. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Claudio. Good to see you. Jim, good to see you. And this is where people get, let their emotions get the, the best of them. Okay. Right. This is a one minute. So that's why we always recommend Forex pairs first. You should not be trading indices. And quite frankly, you shouldn't be trading metals, no matter what strategy. Right. We teach you to practice on a strategy. Do a journal. You'll see what you're doing. And, and look at that. And the key part about the journal, and I've said this time and time again, for those that are members that are seeing it in our community, the journal isn't just for me to look at or one of the four main leaders to look at and say, hey, Jim, you're doing this wrong. Hey, Jim, you're doing a good job here. No, because when you actually journal your trades, 
you're going to see stuff. Oh, wait, look at this. This is interesting that I'm doing this. Or this, okay, now I know why I'm doing this. Because when people have submitted journals to me, okay, that you'd be surprised because they're telling me what I'm going to see. <laughs> oh, I figured this out, Jeff. I saw in my journal why I was doing this, right? Too, too many folks are trying to get to the strategy trade, make a bunch of money. And, of course, you can do that, but there are steps leading up to that. All right? So, as you can see, the U.S. 30 is trending uh, up for the moment. And remember, news is in 12 minutes. Okay? So, that's the five minutes. So, that's what it looks like, right? And there's no, uh, there is no um, macro on the five minute that I saw. And let me... Uh, And so what you're looking for is obviously the four reds, and they might not come, you know, at the open here, especially with news in 12 minutes. Know when your news is. Know when the news is, okay? <laughs> so these are pretty strong one-minute candles, okay? Let me see what SP500 is doing. Okay. So SP500, uh, you know, not as much, not as much movement here. Okay, let me see on the five how that looks. Right, pretty stagnant. The one minute, obviously a macro, four red, like, you know. So, for example, if this blue candlestick, and I bet some people took it, you know, I would just be really, really careful, guys, on changing from the strategy. So, for example, on this one, four red, you know, you've got this one candle's blue, and then there's your first blue arrow. So if you were to take a nap, boom, okay? You could still be going up as of now, okay? So I would just be really careful from deviating from the rules as I've talked about in this uh, live session, okay? So there goes US 30. So this is, and, and again, let's look down the hour. Yeah, and see, this is interesting. Yeah, very interesting, actually. So very strong movement. Uh, the trend is definitely down. There is a macro even on the one hour, but again, the scalping strategy is specifically for the one minute and the five minute. And then for those that are doing the fair value gap, <coughs> the second strategy we teach, we want everybody to do the scalping first, just because it's the most objective. Uh, you know, this, this, it'll be interesting to see in about 10 minutes where this goes is this going to continue to shoot up or is it going to start shooting back down which what what is trend is telling us uh, but that's where news throws everything off so five minutes of the next new candle at 8 35 my time now is start reverse now for those that are smart money uh this could be a banker's candle banker's candle is when you know it's the first candle that uh, it's even with the last candle from the upside, now back to the downside. Let's see what that looks like on the one hour. Oh, that's right, we did look at that. Let me see the four hour for all the smart money novelists. Uh, eh, nothing really there. What's US 30 doing over, you know, definitely trending up. See that? that see that? So, I don't know if you see, you see this calendar down here? November. So look, it's been trending up until recently, until April 1st. So this month, oh, we're in a new month, <laughs> is the first time there's been a trend maybe changed. Look at this. This is months trending up. It's always important, guys, whatever strategy that you might be looking at is, you know, look at the daily. The daily is pretty interesting. You can really learn a lot from looking at the daily, no matter what strategy you have. Okay, so this is kind of a banker's candle forming. <clears throat> For those that don't know what a banker's candle is, if you're in the group that we place folks in, there's some free training under the guides tab explaining some smart money. For those that are uh, new to the community that are using the impulse scanner, we have smart money training in there. Uh, but anyway, it's it's um, pretty interesting. But that's kind of what's forming now. Let me see. Let me let me double check a couple pairs that we were looking at okay so five minute there's the macro we're not we're not aligned here let me see if anything else is aligned at the moment um, doo -doo -doo -doo. 
Let's see. I do not see a uh, an alert. Do do do. U R G B P. There's my macro. Not four reds, right? See the arrows. G B P A U D. This is something I would watch today, right? Retest, retest, retest. Okay. So this is now, you know, full disclosure, this is really close. Okay. I probably did this earlier in the video, so forgive me if I'm repeating myself. Really close to the four blue. Close. Okay. If you'd have gotten in, that could be a successful trade for you. So let me see. GBPNZD. Macro. Retest, but not the four blue, right? And, and you know, and, and if you if you have the impulse scanner, whether you're on our team or just a member of the academy, you got to be real careful, right? You see the first red, oh, I'm just getting in, okay? You got to be real careful. The strategy is the strategy for a reason, and we have a couple different strategies. And there's also additional resources inside the academy, by the way. The creators of the impulse scanner go live three times a day, three, and you have access to the recordings. All right. Another thing when you join us is. Uh, you get two Q&A sessions a week, Tuesday and Thursday. Now, we have people from all over the world, all right? So if you are at, at a, in a time zone where you're asleep or whatever, those are on the team website. So if you go to the team website, the passwords are in our Discord. Uh, whoa, look at that. Look at that strong candle. That's news, man. Actually, I'm going to stay on six more minutes because I want to see what the news does at 845. So uh, we're going to go We're gonna go for six more minutes. So hopefully... Folks are getting some value. If you're in the group, say hello. Say hi, Jeff. Um, let me know you're alive. And so we're going to stay on for six more minutes here and just kind of see how this plays out. Um, but yeah, we have uh, we have we do Q and A's Tuesday and Thursday, so you can ask every single any single question you want. Okay, and the guys, the leadership of our team, will stay on until every question's answered. Okay, every single question's answered. Okay. And you can post charts, you can post all kinds of stuff, because we're here to help you. You're here to learn, okay? So, <clears throat> so as you can see, so this is how people get fooled with indices. So, very strong when it opened, and now kind of trending the reverse way. Even though this candle, this arrow does still say blue, all right? Time frames except the one minute are down. Let me just look at the one minute here real quick. Good, good. Thanks for uh, popping in, Robert. Nice to see you, Clint. I'm sure lots of people will see this. I, I, I know I stunned a lot of people by going live early in the morning, but I'm like, oh, let's change it up a little bit. Let's do it when the New York opens. So that's kind of what we're doing. Man, so here is <clears throat> US 30, one minute. And look, so the trend is still, this is interesting with the blue arrows, right? So, you know, this is one you have to be careful. US 30, you got to be careful with. Man, that is... That's, uh, they call it the dirty 30 for a reason. Now, see, look at this thing drop. Now, is this a pre prelude to the news? 8.45, okay, U.S. News. And then 9 o'clock U.S. News. Uh, job openings, ISM manufacturing. It's just, there's just a lot of U.S. stuff today, okay? So, um, now, see, on SP500, this is how the markets can change, right? See the strength down, trend up, Okay. So the trend, but the strength is obviously starting to go down now. <coughs> but I'm going to stay with US 30 for four more minutes just to kind of see what news does, if anything. But guys, you have to know when news hits. It's a misnomer when people think they have to be on when each session opens. Not with this strategy. 100% incorrect. All right? I could find a trade at 2 o'clock my time. In fact, I've gone live with potential opportunities at 2 o'clock. All right? And that's where it's getting close to market switchover. So with the scouting strategy, you can find opportunities everywhere. Good to see you, Aiden. I've sent you a bunch of messages. So when you get a chance, take a look. But anyway, so I'm going to stay with you till through this 845 news. I'm very curious as how this affects U.S. 30. Uh, let me take another quick look here at forex pairs <clears throat> um i'm actually gonna pop in while i'm talking to you early is perfect jeff yep awesome awesome clint you're you're a true success story brother glad to have you in the community 
Um, I'm going to quickly look inside of our Discord community, and you get access as to part of the team. And I just want to see... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So people are obviously having some successful some success in the last 24 hours. I just want to see if anybody's looking at something particular. Um, yep, and somebody even said they got a quick win on UCAD before all the news hits. That's right. You've got to know when the news is, okay? You'd be surprised, guys. Honestly, you would be surprised at how many people... I, I had a customer, and he's still a customer, actually. He's, being, he's a successful trader, but it was a struggle. Because his mind was analytical in, in that I lost this trade. Why did I lose this trade? Okay. Uh, did you look at the news? And I answered him before I even had to look at the news because I knew what the news was. Okay. You cannot trade news. Here's how news can benefit you. Okay. If you're already in a trade that's in profit, you can give yourself enough room with your stop loss knowing news is about to hit. So the news will either take you out or shoot it really good, really good in your direction. That's how you take advantage of news. But too many folks try to trade the news for those instant profits, and you know what happens there. Um, they, you know, I blow their account, okay? Okay, that's what they're doing, all right? Um, so let me go back to, let me go back to indices here, US 30, let's see if news is gonna have any effect in about one minute. So here, I mean, this is, this is perfect, guys. So when we started, this is the five minute, right? Very strong, and now what's happening? Banker's candle. For anybody who knows smart money, banker's candle. So, you know, so this is where people like try. Oh, it's just going to go up all morning. That's a mistake. Have a plan. Have a strategy. Uh, don't trade the news. But look at what that. Look what US 30 is doing now. And news is going to be hitting about a minute. And again, that it could just shoot right back up, right? That's the beauty of the markets, right? You just have to have a proper trade plan, which if you're a member, you can review with me. You have to have a proper strategy that you're teaching. If, you have, if you're watching this, if you've not had great success trading smart money or up and down, I win some, I lose some, then I encourage you to check out this impulse scanner. Uh, we have two strategies with it, fair value gap and a little added bonus that I can't tell you about, but it's a fair value intraday, tra intraday trading, longer term trades, and we have the scalping. So we want all folks to pop in on the scalping first because it's the most objective. It is four steps. Step one, align. All aligned in the same direction, one minute to one hour. Macro trend, looking for four red arrows. Here are the four red arrows, okay? So right before your eyes, I, I, there might be something here, but I'm not doing it, right, because I'm talking to you, and I don't recommend new folks to do it, right? So there's your four red Right, even though the one minute's not quite aligned, but even everything else is aligned, you're looking for the first blue up, first blue candlestick with the first blue arrow. However, however, this is news about to hit. So, is it the most ideal time to trade when you know news is coming out, even if you see a scalping opportunity? No, it is not ideal. Okay, people need to get out of their head. They got to take ten trades a day. You'd be surprised at the number, you know, six and a half years. I, I, I can only go on the history of the number of people I have helped, okay? They'll send me a screenshot with 16 trades. I said, when you go to a real, again, this is on demo because you're practicing, and this is non-scalping. <coughs> are, you, are, are you really going to take 16 trades in one day on a real account? Right? Just trying to do the risk management in itself is an issue, okay? So practice on demo how you're going to actually trade live, right? That's how you do it, okay? So definitely not cooperating on, on news, okay? So the red arrows are still painting. The news probably is hit. Maybe it doesn't have much of an effect, this particular news. Then you've got more news at 9. I'm not going to stay on until the 9 o'clock news, but this is something to watch, guys, okay? So you have all the time frames aligned in one minute. And, you know, maybe you want to practice this on demo. You have the macro. You have the four red arrows with the candlesticks. You're looking for the first blue. So if you're on demo, maybe something pops here, okay? However, and, and you can practice on demo. That's what you sh should do when you're practicing. However, 
it could go any other way when all this news hits at 9. So you're going to definitely see some movement again at 9 o'clock. So the 845 didn't really have a bunch of movement. Some news does, some news doesn't. You can't gamble. You can't take a chance. Okay? You're playing, this is, treat it, treat trading as a business. Okay? Treat trading as a business. You are running a brick and mortar business. Okay? <clears throat> and you want to make sure that your risk management, your margins on, on, you know, dog food that you're selling in your local grocer helps you. Okay? Benefits you. Puts money in your pocket. Okay? If you like that, give me a thumbs up. Give me some hearts. All right? So treat it as a business. You own a brick and mortar store. You need to get the best margin, the best margin for selling that dog food. Okay? And maybe this will be the blue arrow that you can get in on. However, it's it's news in 12, more news in 12 minutes, and a lot of news in 12 minutes. Okay? So I'd be careful. Okay? But if you're practicing on demo just to practice, maybe you get that first blue and it goes your way. Okay? All right, guys. So that's kind of it for me. If you're a member of our training team, please let me know what you thought of this video. Drop it in the comments now. If you're not a member of our trading team and are interested, please reach me. We have a discount that goes on. Hello, me. We have a discount that goes on on Monday, expires on Monday. You must reach me to get it. They don't bring these uh, discounts very often, so it's through Monday. You get access to the Impulse Scanner. You get access to the educators that go three times a day on the Impulse Scanner. You get access to our team training website. You get access to our Discord community. You get access to our My Telegram. Do I, do I sound like a broken record? Appreciate you, Doug. And you get access to our Q&A sessions with our leaders Tuesday and Thursday. We are a team six and a half. I'm sorry. We are a team eight years. Okay. No other platform has been around as long as we have. This platform has been around 10. We as a trading team have been around eight years. I've been around six and a half. I have helped a ton of people. I can help you. There is a discount available, but you got to take it. Okay. By the way, US 30, before I go, look at that one minute candle. You're welcome, Robert. You're welcome, brother. <clears throat> look at that one. Now, do we get that arrow? Okay. Do we get that arrow? And again, it is news. There's the arrow. Boom. Okay, now i got to stay with you a minute or two. So, we're going to stay this minute and see how this plays out. Now, keep in mind, there's news and it's, it's news all around this. So, this doesn't necessarily have to go our way. So, what potentially you would do here is... Now, this is US 30, okay? These are really wide Bollinger's. I'm going to stay on with you a second. Right, and this, you know, this is the U.S. 30, and I'm sorry that it's a crooked line, okay? Uh, oh, awesome, Doug, glad, glad to have you, okay? Now, so this might not go our way because it's, there, it's, we're all around news, okay? I probably would move this up closer because it's U.S. 30, but just, let's just see how it plays out for a minute or two. I'm going to stay on a couple more minutes. So, uh, anyway, we're having a lot of success. Folks are having a lot of great success. Using the strategy, you have to ask yourself, do you think you can do this? Okay? Um, and at least at this moment, it doesn't look like it's going our way because we have the first red. <laughs> but again, as I said, right, I wouldn't trade this on a live account. And the reason being is here and here. Right? So it's a very unstable market at the moment. Right? You really shouldn't be taking many trades at all right now. Right, and then you kind of you can let it settle down a little bit. There's probably going to be opportunities between now and one o'clock. So that's personally that's what I would do. I would not take this trade, but I we're on live, so I figured okay, well let's take a peek, just so you can see all the steps. But keep in mind <coughs> that I would not have taken this trade because there's too much news here. I mean it's just everywhere, right? So this is one I would stay out of. Okay. <coughs> And we get two reds, all right? So uh, it'll be interesting. I'm going to leave this chart up, and maybe I will, uh, let me, I'll take a picture of it later to see if it actually ends. I'm going to go help some customers. So that's it. If you're interested in joining us, reach me. The promotion ends on Monday. Appreciate you all. Have a great day. Take care.